Hey everyone, Chris here, and welcome back to the Landfall Archives. As you can see, we've gone through quite the number of games over here, and I have a new collection over here for today. Let's go ahead and get started with Post Game. It's from 2019. Seems kind of interesting. Kind of makes me think of like Factorio or something from the image. Uh, let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. It has music. That's usually a good sign. So it seems like we have different types of belts. Again, kind of reminds me of Factorio. Maybe like a 3D version, like a Satisfactory. So I got two of these boxes over here, three over here, and then what does more box do? Oh, okay, so start spawning boxes, got it. I mean, to be honest, it seems pretty simple, right? Just get the box from there to there. Uh, let's go ahead and start with some long belts. Let's go ahead and do a couple of those like that. Another one there, and yeah, one more. Oh wait, actually that might be a little bit long, huh? It kind of works, but let me try a short belt. I think that's gonna be perfect. Yep. Do we start getting money? More box. Okay, click that like three times. And yeah, they're spawning much more frequently now. Oh yeah, the crate's actually like filling up. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, that closed. And yeah, we got like $200 there. Interesting, interesting. So the more I upgrade this, we're gonna need it to kind of like maybe split off and go to other things. Okay, okay, let's do like another two upgrades there. Oh yeah, that's already getting really full. Hold on, let's wait for that to sell. Oh gosh, we're backing up. So it seems I need some sort of splitter, maybe. Okay, I think I got it. So I think I need the pusher right there. Seems like it's gonna toss it over there. Okay, maybe a little bit closer. Is that working? Kind of. Okay, got a little bit of a better system going on here. So I have the pusher pushing them over to these. Uh, there's still the issue that sometimes they just kind of, you know, fall off for whatever reason. I don't know if I could really do too much about that, but it's kind of working for now. So these two are getting full, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put another pusher maybe over here, push it that way, and then start going to these boxes over here. Because this one's still filling up really quickly. Let me get to work on that. Ooh, okay, finally I got this to reach over here. That took quite a while. So I have another pusher, a belt curve, and then some of the belt ups to go over here to the right. It's actually pretty satisfying to set this up correctly. I mean, I say correctly, even though, you know, there's like three boxes kind of stuck there and occasionally these still miss somehow and go off the side. Okay, let's go ahead and increase boxes so we spawn more of them and hopefully get more money. Yeah, see that one just fell down there. Okay, let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. So I put a pusher and a catapult so it kind of just launches them into here. How far does that go? Oh, okay, that's actually... That's not that bad. Hold on. Maybe I could do a funnel. And then we could kind of sort it out from under? Oh my god, that's like a perfect shot. Okay, okay. I'm liking where this is going. Okay, I think I finally got my first box up here. That only took like 10 minutes. So yeah, this pushes it into the catapult. This catapult launches it into this funnel. Kind of have like a little setup there so they all kind of get caught. Uh, a lot of them still do fall off for whatever reason though. See, like that box just went off the edge. The idea was, you know, it kind of sorts them all into this middle area. Maybe I should have had another... Uh, belt left or right there because those two just completely fell off and yeah It's just a series of lifts all the way up here to the middle. Honestly, this game is pretty satisfying um, I think some timing needs to be fixed with the pushers and whatnot Because yeah, it kind of pushes it off but it stays open a little bit too long there and kind of Gets everything kind of gunked up later on, but this one was actually really enjoyable So yeah, let's go ahead and move on and see what other games we have. So yeah, that was post game Really, really like that one. All right, so up next, Counts of Snakes from 2020. I get the feeling from the picture, it's probably one of those multiplayer games. Kind of like uh, Worms or something. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it seems like it's multiplayer. Let's try a quick match. See if anyone's on, maybe. Oh, creating game. Mean, hasty, or big. Ooh, um, 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 um uh, knockback, sure. Pilot, what the heck? What the heck's going on here? I have no idea. So we get to choose a gun. Okay, got a submission gun, I think. Oh, this is kind of cool. I'm assuming I'm just going to keep winning because probably no one else is on. Okay, that yeah, makes sense. Okay, so we got the pistol and then I think it said right click. Oh, no, we got grenades for number two. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And it sets the area on fire. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Oh, and it looks like there's some cool physics actually on the map. Like you could probably spin those things. Okay, unfortunately, no one else is online. So let's move on. Yeah, that one was probably really cool to play with other people. Uh, let's put that in the power over there. And what do we have next? So missile game 2020 looks like there's some stuff to destroy some destructible environments. Let's see. Oh, what are we doing here? Okay. Um, I see a bar going down. I'm assuming that's our fuel. 
And then we're supposed to maybe crash into this. Oh, okay. So we got to destroy probably the yellow cube on top. Oh, we got, okay. Yeah, I got it now. So we have to find a way to hit this to make both those cubes fall off. Pretty simple, but very satisfying. I'm gonna go for this point right here. Oh, oh, we're out of fuel. Okay. Did we do it? Come on. Nice. Ooh, this one seems kind of complicated. Like castle walls over here. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. Gosh darn it. Okay. This one might end in failure. Okay, let's try this again. I, gosh, that did not go well. Oh, there's three of them. How the heck am I supposed to do this in one life? I don't think I'm supposed to. I think every time you spawn, you can just keep trying and trying. Oh gosh. Okay. I think I actually made things harder for myself here. Uh, it made that whole middle thing kind of fall off. Ooh, but that actually, that actually might work out for us. Let's see. Come on. Good hit there. Ooh, okay. That's one of them. Now just two more incoming. Come on. Ooh, that's gotta be a good hit. Yep. All right. That's number two down. One more to the right. And we hit it. Ooh, we might hit it perfectly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh, that was a good hit right there. Nice. Vicotori. Ooh, actually, yeah, this game's actually really satisfying. Oh, what the heck? Stuff's already exploding without me doing anything. Um, see that was a bug and maybe the weight of everything else kind of crashed in on it because everything's just collapsing. Oh, but I love these types of like physics games. Um, assuming there's another cube somewhere hidden here. Oh yeah, way in the back. Okay, I guess we'll just have to try to go over. We just don't have that much fuel though. Oh gosh. Oh. Come on, hit. Oh, I might still land it. Come on, come on, hit the corner, make everything fall. Is that going to work? Yeah, okay. I love that it says Vicotori though. That's hilarious. Okay, and it's kind of reset. So yeah, that was a missile game. Actually, that one was really nice. Uh, short, but really cool with the destructible physics and everything else. So RTS card game from 2021. Kind of looks like tabs, maybe? Uh, it says card game, so maybe we get like upgrades. Okay, here we are. Maybe it's going to be similar to rounds or something. So general, cards have two sides, the unit side and the ability side. Units cost gold and abilities cost mana. The gold number is the gold cost for the unit. The icons on the right is the mana cost for the ability. Cards can either be played in mustering as units or saved for battles as abilities. Uh, let's get started and see how it goes. Oh, so it's like an actual card game. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and place this to the card. I guess that spawns them. Oh yeah, shield pal. Okay, let's place him there. Uh, let's go ahead and put another worker. A sword pal over there. I guess another shield pal. Oh, I, oh, I select him. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of just going to put everything down. Don't know too much what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm out of gold, so I can't really do too much with this card, I think. So let's put that over there. We could save the ability. Move your units onto the boat to take them into battle. The units that are not on the boat are left behind. Okay. Oh, so only four of them can go. Okay, so I might have spawned. An extra guy on accident. Okay. Now we're in the attack phase. Units can be ordered to attack specific units. During battle, the saved cards can be used for the abilities. Drag a card out to the battlefield to begin casting. So we got this maiming arrow, which isn't really letting me do anything right now. So let's just save that. And I guess we just kind of attack, right? We fighting? Yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. That was kind of quick. Okay. Either way, we won. I was trying to use that ability, but it did not work. And now we get to add a card. I mean, I guess a worker for sure, just so we get more gold. Combine two cards. Oh my gosh, this one actually goes pretty in depth. Combining two cards will give you one upgraded card. So we put like a worker and a worker. Ooh, hard worker. Okay, I'm kind of cool with that. Oh yeah, so we got this guy. So I'm assuming that gives us a little bit more gold. And how about we save both of these guys over here? Oh, we can only save one of them. Okay. I mean, we only really need four guys. That's how many fit. So let's save this critical strike thing. Put a worker, of course. And yeah, I think that's about it. Let's get one of each. I think that should be a good combo right there. Let's send them off. And who are we fighting? Why do they get five? Or six, actually. Oh, critical strike. Okay. Uh, ability, arcane barrage. So let's launch that on him. Ooh, nice. Okay. That's actually pretty cool. Come on, show guy. Don't die. You got this. Oh my gosh, she barely lived. Okay, that was pretty good. No one died. Uh, let's go to get a mage pal. Maybe we could upgrade him. So let's put that there and that there. And now we got a wizard. So ability, greater arcane barrage. So let's save that over there. Of course, put the worker and maybe another shield pal. I mean, I guess it doesn't hurt to just have a reserve kind of here ready to go. Okay, let's try out this new ability. How did I do it last time? Oh, I don't think I brought a wizard. Is that what's going on? That would have been really good. We might die here. Let's see what happens. Okay, that was a dumb goof on my part. Oh, I think we're getting our butts whipped. Okay, we took down their shield, guys, which is kind of good. I mean, this guy technically has a shield. I think he's an upgraded version. Actually, he has like a minor helmet or something. I mean, we have our archer still full health back there. I mean, they do too. Oh, no. We lost this for sure. Dang it. If I could have used this, I think we would have won. <gasps> Wait, did I win? 
I think I lost. I don't know. Okay, that was weird. Uh, let's grab another shield pal. Maybe we can upgrade those guys. How about we do two bow pals and get a crossbow pal? So let's place that guy. Oh, we lost all our units. Yeah, dang. Okay, kind of forgot about that. Uh, let's put the mage pal right there and a sword pal and shield pal. That seems pretty good. Okay, let's see how this goes this time. I mean, I only have four guys. So does this work? Okay, it's not working for whatever reason. Maybe I should have put this guy down first. Oh my gosh, why am I sending that guy alone? He's going to get clobbered over there. Jeez. So maybe I need a unit of that type to use that spell. Maybe that's what's going on here. Although this guy's actually kind of holding out pretty well. Maybe you could do this. Oh wait, oh my gosh, we took him down with like a sliver of health. Jeez, okay, that guy was really good. Oh wow, okay, we leveled up. Okay, can we mix a crossbow pal with a sword pal? Venom blade, interesting. So we could like kind of mix between. Okay, what if I put a wizard in this crossbow guy? Nope, ooh, necromancer. Spawns a zombie every 25 attack of your unit. Oh, that guy sounds pretty good. Kind of expensive, but sure, let's try that out. Place down, oh, I can't get the necromancer just yet because I don't have enough coins ah okay i guess we have to save that but then i can't even use it gosh darn it okay this is probably gonna go bad again i got i mean i do have two of those crossbow guys so they're pretty strong and yeah i just can't use this for whatever reason again i'm hoping the crossbow guys carry this because they shoot really really hard uh oh uh oh yeah they got this let me go ahead and do a hard worker that way i could get a little bit more xp uh, let's go ahead and put down a mage pal with these guys and we'll save that maybe sure let's put a sword pal there Another hard worker, and yeah, I think I get to summon all these guys. I only have five, so we'll save this ability if we can. Okay, let's see what the battle's like. So let's go ahead and use this critical strike on that guy, sure. Oh, and taunt makes all the guys kind of attack one guy at once. Oh, I can't use it because I don't have a shield guy. Okay, yeah, I think we definitely got the range advantage here. Those guys are actually closing in really, really quickly. Are they wearing like Santa Claus hats? I think they are. It's like Santa Claus with the sword. Uh oh, yeah, I don't know if we got this actually. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh gosh. Oh, yeah, we lost. Okay, let's leave that one there to make some time for the other games. I actually really, really like that one. A little complex, but that's what makes it fun. You know, a little bit of like strategy and planning. Okay, we, now we got Plant Plane. We played Ocean Plane last time, so I'm assuming this is the same thing, just a different environment. Yeah, it kind of seems like it. Except this one moves with Was, I think. Oh, that's kind of cool. Just grows all around it. Can I miss that? I think I missed it. Uh oh. I think I bugged it. Okay, okay. So you have to, you know, kind of stay on this thing. Not gonna lie though, that forest growing aspect of it's pretty satisfying. Okay, so this time I'll try not to miss the jump. There we go. Kind of almost wish it went slower. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Barely made it there. Got another big jump there. Can't even see where I'm landing. Let's go to the right on this one. Oh, don't fall off. Oh gosh. Okay, I think I can make like little gaps and that's okay. I wonder if this one has a clear ending because this kind of looks like it's maybe repeating right here with the pillars. I could be wrong though. Oh, am I supposed to land on top? Oh wait, okay, okay. I was trying to aim for the top one of the pillars. Okay, what do we got now? We're kind of just been in a straight line for a while. Anything coming up or is this maybe the end of it? Yeah, I kind of have to assume it's probably looping on itself. That'd be kind of cool if I could just turn around the whole way and redo it the other side i don't think i can though okay well i kind of expected that one to be pretty short just because the first one was as well place that there and now we have the last game of landfall archives so airships 2 i tried the first one and that was kind of hard maybe this one's a little bit more fleshed out and refined let's see all right here we are so very similar to last time got beams wood propellers Oh, big propellers. Up controller. Okay, so yeah, a little bit more uh, defined and everything. We got specific turn controller, speed controller. What the heck? We got Gatling guns? Jeez. Radar and rangefinder. Interesting. Okay, let's start off with a nice big beam in the middle like that. Oh, okay. Just gonna fall to the ground, I guess. Uh, that's kind of weird. And let's go ahead and kind of start with the hole. So I think, oh, that's actually a little bit too much. Oh, at least I could delete stuff this time. Okay, that's really nice. So I think something like that should be good. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think this is going to turn out much better than last time. Okay, got a nice little skeleton looking thing here. And then I would like to have like some connecting pieces. I think like that. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe another one like that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot wider on that side, but that's okay. Oh, and I mirrored it already. Okay, that's good. Let's finish off the top like that. Another piece right over there. I mean, it's definitely not going to look the best, but 
it'll do it'll do that's for sure okay so actually i think it's not looking too bad with all the wood everywhere uh I, the one hard part is actually getting up on the ship maybe i could use uh some of these here and there like that got to do some parkour and yeah now we're up here not bad not bad and i'm kind of thinking maybe like every other we put one of these beams and then we'll kind of put propellers on them I mean, that's kind of the metal. That doesn't look too bad there. Did it do it on the other side? Yes, it did. So how about we do some, you know, big propellers. Get that real, you know, power and speed. Hopefully those don't crash into each other. Okay, so I made myself a little bored here. Uh, this says turn controller, but I don't know if that actually, is that supposed to be our like steering wheel? Or maybe it's supposed to be like that where it kind of turns the actual ship. Uh, let's put one there, one there, and speed controller. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Honestly, kind of scared to have the Gatling gun. Or worry that's going to mess everything up. But hey, you know what? Yeah, let's put some in front. Why not? Okay, that actually looks kind of menacing. And of course, we probably need some radar to go with that. Don't think I have a really good place to put those, though. I mean, we'll put some range finders like that. That looks actually terrifying. Just like lasers pointing out of it and everything. Okay, we got some power. Oh, oh, it's shooting. Okay. So, oh, okay. So if anything's in range... It starts shooting at it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, how do I turn? Okay, we're gonna... Oh, I hope this isn't a hard landing. Oh! oh no! Okay, that was all my work right there, and it broke into pieces, and I broke the game. Gosh, that did not turn out well. Is this gonna kill me? Oh, that's kinda cool. Jeez, that took, like, so long to build for it to fall apart in two seconds. I knew that was gonna be a hard landing. Jeez. I don't think the other one had this type of physics to it. But maybe I built this wrong with uh, too much wood beams. Oh, man. Okay, so that was nothing but a minor setback when I made another one. This one's pretty much just a square, but it somehow doesn't actually look all that bad, I think. Yeah, I figured out a couple more things. So this one is how we control turning. I thought it was just another propeller, but I mean, it does say turn controller, so that makes sense. So let's see if we get a little bit of lift off here. Let's give it a little bit more speed. 